Hi Dan. Hi. Uh, we are here on the 4MS booth and it's time to show us some new modules, right? Yeah. So we have five new modules we're showing at Superboost. They're all coming out this fall. Um, and they're all, the theme is uh, modulation. So we have, here we have three which are all based on the same core. This is the dual-shaped envelope VCA. It's a 100% analog envelope with VCA, and it has full wave shaping capabilities on the on the envelope or or uh, LFO as you as you want wish. So if you can see um, on this oscilloscope here too, um, you can change the shape of the envelope without changing the timing. So it keeps a fixed timing without. Um, uh, you know, uh, with a lot of analog envelopes, as you change the wave shape, it does that with a feedback into the time, and, and that ends up being go super fast as you go exponential or super slow as you go log. So you lose your your, your timing information. This is this is a as a true wave shaper. Um, so you have you can do complicated things. There's a, well, there's a slider here with a beautiful LED that the colors tell you which wave shape you're on. You can also do a cool tricks like. Um, get a different wave shape for the rise than the fall by like patching the end of rise signal out. And here we have um, uh, on the scope. You see, I can have a, I can control just the wave shape of the fall separately than the rise just by self patching it into there. So some cool some cool tricks you can do. Um, there's separate sliders for rise and fall time, of course. Um, and it goes as fast, it goes into the audio range and it goes all the way down to, if you apply CV, you can go all the way down to the 20 minutes uh, total cycle time. There's three position switches here. Um, fast, which is into the audio rate. Medium, which is kind of like uh, tempo, BPM tempo type um, ranges for like notes. And then slow, which is more useful for like modulation. Like, so this is the fastest slow setting here and it goes um, down to a couple minutes here. And then if you apply CV, you can go even farther. Uh, than the normal range. So, um, the th this also has a. Um, actually, if you want to move over to this one, or I'm actually making sound, since it does. Um, so you can hear kind of. This is the exponential shape, and then here's a linear shape. So you can hear it get real plucky. So here's a linear shape, but I'm just I have a. Bouncing out, and then um, and then the log shape, which through the internal VCA, it sounds pretty open. But um, I should explain. So I have a, it has an internal VCA. So audio in, audio out. You can also it's DC coupled. You can also run CV, and, and then it has its own. Uh, you can uh, patch in your own CV too, and use it as a completely independent VCA. If you don't patch a CV jack, then the envelope is is normalized to that. So that's what we're hearing right now. Uh, you also have separate outputs for the envelope, and you have full offset and level knobs for them, so they uh, so you can you can control the you know the the, the amplitude and the and the DC offset of envelopes. Each channel is is the same, and there's an OR out, which is the analog OR. So you can do complicated like four stage envelopes by using the OR out in both channels at once. Um, you have end to rise on one side, end to fall on the other. Uh, the follow jack is a slew limiter input. So the, this envelope is based on um, like a slew limiting uh, integrator circuit, and if you run into the follow, then you can you can adjust the maximum slew uh, with the ri rising slew and falling slew like that, which is a pretty classic design. You see it back in old like surge synths and stuff. Um, it's it's like that, and uh, but the cool thing with this is that the follow input can also be used as you can run audio or CV signals in there and then wave shape them. So if you run a triangle in, you can turn it into an expo or a logarithmic or with the hack I was showing we're there where you patch the and you know you can you can apply parts of the signal by, by patching into the CV and stuff um, so that's a neat and some like really crazy filtering effects if you want to like really really rough sound and stuff if you want to uh, do slew limiting on audio so um, there's also uh, of course you can cycle it and then you can trigger it you can also um, see I had a Cable handy. You can also uh, there's a there's a three position switch for the which changes the mode of the triggering. If you patch into so like here like um, I'm going way too fast, but here like you can toggle cycle with another gate. So if I set this one really fast, it's like so it's toggling it. 
and then if you hit the cycle button, it inverts. So here it's off by default and on when the cycle goes high. So it's always toggling, but you could invert it manually. Um, and then there's the other, other two modes of the trigger jack are AR, you know, attack release. Whenever it gets a gate, it just, whenever it just fires the envelope. And then ASR, where it sustains to the gate pulse width. So you have, so you have a, lot of, a lot of ways to make waveforms in there. And you can use them at the same time. You can cycle and, um, and hit triggers, and then you get like this kind of thing. So, yeah, so um, it's a really good companion to the Ensemble Oscillator. Uh, you can see we have it patched, so like... So that's what we're hearing now, right? Yeah. Right, sorry, yeah, I, I didn't introduce, but this whole time we've been hearing the, just the Ensemble in this dual-shaped envelope BCA, and, and we're modulating the root here on the arm with uh, this side, and then I'm also modulating twist um, over there, and... Oh, I didn't mention there's a linear 5 volt output on both sides. So this is a fixed 0 to 5 volt output and it's fixed wave shape of linear. Um, so you can adjust shape and everything and, um, and the offset level, which affects this jack, but not does not affect the linear jack. So it's great for self-patching or just being able to control one thing and let another one stay, stay steady. Um, so if I like did the envelope one. So you can, you know, you can invert, you can do ducking effects and stuff if you want to take this output and pass it into the CV and it inverts, um, set it up to, to invert the signal. Um, it's kind of hard to hear in this patch right here because I don't have like a ducking signal. So, um, yeah, that's, so that's, that's, that's kind of that one. Yeah, that's the main features of this. Um, and then, so this is the, this is the dual shaped envelope BCA. We have another version we want to move over to here. So the dual shape we just saw, that's 20 HP. Um, and then the 16 HP version is the dual envelope BCA. So it's, it doesn't have the shaping features. So if you take off the wave shaping, you just have a dual LFO, dual envelope LFO with, um, with uh, you know, dual VCA, stereo VCA. Uh, so this one's a little cheaper, a little smaller. And then you also have the baby one, which is just one channel envelope, one envelope, one VCA. It, the main difference is the VCA is not independent. It's there's no CV input for the VCA, so it's just if you want to make like notes, if you want to just use your envelope, always a VCA, and you don't have a lot of space. This is a great solution for that, and uh, um, you don't have the uh, offset control. You just have an envelope level control. So, so those, so these these are the three envelope VCAs. Um, the smaller two will be out in September. The bigger one will be out in October, um, and the prices are 159. 225 and 319 US dollars. Um, so did so. you, um, obviously <clears throat> in recent years you've done a lot of kind of uh, digital yeah. and stuff. Is that to do with any sort of uh, chip shortage or something <laughs> that you decided to uh, design some analog stuff again or just well, something that you no, wanted to we've do? Been, yeah, we've been at uh, analog stuff. So um, our design team's grown. Uh, we have uh, Zach's been working with us um, uh, for a few, a lot of years now, actually. And um, so uh, he developed the percussion interface um, three years ago, I think. And so that's a uh, that's completely analog design. So we just kind of, and that was before the chip shortage. We just took that, and um, we've all, I've always been wanting to make an envelope BCA because it's just such a useful thing to have. And so, so we took that, and then we had this idea for the the wave shaping, adding wave shaping to that, which is kind of a unique thing. And uh, so. The only thing that has to do with the chip shortage is the fact that it's coming out now because we have the chips. Um, so these are these are more commonly available chips. We were able to get get what we needed ahead of time. The digital modules we have in, in progress right now are coming out a little later. But there is a digital module here that segues into the the PEG. So the uh, our 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 classic pingable envelope generator is being half resurrected in um, in the. In the, as the mini peg. So this is half of a peg, pretty much, and it's even shrunk down a little more because we combine this, the shape and the uh, slew, um, skew knobs into one shape knob, going from rising, falling only, expo, uh, linear, and then you have in the middle, you have your uh, balance shapes, expo, 
linear and logarithmic. And as you turn to the extremes, you, it, it, the skew starts to take effect and you get more and more um, fall or rise, depending which way you turn. So, uh, ping, ping was one of the, uh, like, uh, sorry, the peg was one of the, like, one of your very first modules, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, so, it was, um, yeah, like maybe like the fourth or something. Um, yeah, it, it was, you know, it was like, a, I mean, at the time, there weren't a lot of modules out in the market, so it was really like, it did a thing like nothing else could do at the time. Um, and, you know, was it it's nice, clock synced. Was it nice to kind of revisit that? And I've always loved the peg. I've always felt like um, it's it's just very versatile thing. I, I like, uh, I like, complex rhythms and it's really easy to dial in complex rhythms with it because it's it has a clock divider on it and it makes envelopes or LFOs that are clock synced um, and then you can asynchronously trigger it and things and still keep your 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 timing information so it's really it's a real versatile way to like use timing with modulation and, and sync your um, so so I added a few things like the peg has a bipolar button so there's just two there's like negative five to plus five or zero to ten but this has an offset knob, so you can dial in ex an exact amount, and then the LED shows you, let me slow it down, you can see a little better, the LED shows you, I'm going positive and negative, because it's red and blue, um, or just negative, or whatever, so, and then the scale knob is the same as the peg. Um, and, uh, is that is that one uh, ready to go as well, or? This is gonna be ready in October, so um, we, yeah, we were, we were able to buy some chips ahead of time for this one because it is digital. This is a 100% digital module versus the others are analog. Um, and, uh, you know, we have to do the tricky things like have a few different variations of it because different chips are available in small quantities, et cetera. Pretty much the same thing everybody's doing. Um, so, yeah, but this one we'll have ready in October probably exactly the same time as the big, the big dual-shaped envelope VCA. So, and it's a lot of fun. It's, it's, the mini peg is 8 HP, so it's actually smaller than half a peg by a little bit. And we did that because they combined the shape, the slew and uh, shape knobs. And of course, there's no VCA on this as compared to the other envelopes. So, um, but Brilliant. yeah. Do, it's, do you have a kind of rough price point on that one as well? Um, I think that one's 159 also. I mean, it's actually written down somewhere here. Yes. So, um, yeah, these two are both 159. Excellent. So yeah, that one's gonna be pretty fun, and yeah, the uh, the last one um, is um, I'm not gonna demo it, but it's it's the we took the shuffling clock multiplier and the shuffling clock multiplier breakout, and we smashed them together in one module. It's the same size as both of them individually, um, and same feature set. It's just on one panel right now, and um, uh, the LEDs are a little nicer, and you know. So we feel like people would buy the SCM and not the breakout. I mean, a lot more people bought the module, not the expander. Uh, but that was always kind of sad to us because it like it adds so much functionality to it. So so you get clock, you can get uh, 255 different patterns, clock patterns, beat patterns, like dropping out different beats, eight outputs. So each one of those is is doing a different pattern, different multiple on the same pattern. And then you can slew, or skew, sorry, um, slip, you apply slippage, which is like uh, ragging the beat forward and backwards, and you can um, apply, you can rotate just like the classic thing. So it's the same as the SCM and the SCM breakout, but it's, uh, it's just in one module. So that'll be coming out in October also. Brilliant. And it's digital, of course. Oh, excellent. Well, Dan, thank you very much for talking to us. Yeah.